This session's outline is Introduction to Vygotsky's Constructivist Theory and the major theme of Vygotsky's theory. At the end of this module, you will be able to explain the major theme of Vygotsky's theory. Vygotsky has rightly said, through others we become ourselves. The major theme of Vygotsky's theory is that social interaction contributes a lot to the cognitive development of the child. The child constructs one's own knowledge in the light of previous experiences. What are these previous experiences? The child doesn't grow up in isolation, he grows in a society amidst people, parents, the immediate community and the people involved in them. The child constantly observes people, imitates them and then tries to apply that to one's own thoughts, feelings and behavior. In that sense, social interaction plays a fundamental role in the process of cognitive development of the child. As the child first observes others and imitates and then tries to internalize. Social learning always precedes individual learning. In other words, social learning precedes development, be it cognitive development, social development or cultural development. Today, we are going to know more about how it happens in Vygotsky's theory of social constructivism. The major theme of Vygotsky's theory is that every function in the child's development, especially the cultural development, appears twice. First at the social level between people. We say that as interpersonal and then it happens at the individual level within the child that is intrapersonal. For example, the customs, traditions and the rituals of any festival or any ceremony is first observed by the child in the society by the interaction and the, by the behavior of the people around him and from that he grasps the things and then tries to internalize. Hence, we, whatever it is, the social issues or religion or culture, customs, tradition, the child observes the inter interaction between the people that is at the interpersonal level and certain convictions regarding whatever he has encountered will be internalized sometime later. This is just an example. In fact, everything we do, we learn happens first at the social level. We observe people, we imitate them, we see what is happening around and then try to do it all by ourselves and in this way yes, Vygotsky has rightly explained that the child's cultural development appears twice first at the interpersonal level then at the intrapersonal level. So students this theory of social constructivism has given a new perspective to the teaching learning process that happens in the classroom. Since we are a part of the society, the community and we enjoy being in the groups and group learning leads to enhanced perspectives regarding each and every learning situation. Vygotsky's social constructivist theory plays a very important role in the present teaching learning process and the social constructivism lays emphasis on interpersonal learning in the beginning then leading to intrapersonal learning and the teacher should utilize this particular phenomenon to see that group learning leads to enhanced cognitive development of each individual child. Thank you.